Just to say, I do have experience of being in A and E, and it was a terrible experience. That the staff were completely overworked, and uh, and and it was an awful thing. And I think that the NHS have been underfunded for the last 13 years, undermined by the Conservative government. I think the staff in the NHS have been treated terribly badly. They were heroes in the pandemic. Within 18 months, they became zeros when they wanted a, a, a fair rise in, the, in their wages. <laughs> I, I think this government is setting the NHS up to fail. And that if we have another Tory government, then maybe we won't have the NHS that we know now or remember in 25 years' time. I think that's possible. And I think privatisation just doesn't work, not just in health, but in water, in energy, in, in rail. Anywhere you look, privatisation... And so when you look at the funding model in, in other European countries, for example, which is what, what Kate is stating, and I'm not advocating for it one way or another, in many instances their outcomes are much better... Does that persuade you at all? Well, I look at the, the fundamental rationale of privatisation is that private and companies... And it's not wholesale, obviously, because there is also state provision too. ..is that private companies can do it better with their profit motive. And we've seen that fail in everything. We've seen it fail in water companies with sewage in our rivers and on our beaches. We've seen it fail in energy with record energy bills and bankruptcies and a price cap. We've seen a Conservative government intervene in the energy market and fix the price. It's kind of unheard of. You look at the rail system that we have and our train service. Everywhere that privatisation has been brought in, it's failed. It's, and it will fail in, in health as well.